Mega Evolution and Bond Phenomena. In Pokemon, they fulfill a very similar role, especially in the anime, allowing a Pokemon to transform beyond its current limitations as a final evolution to gain an extra burst of power and strength. It was rumored to work off of trust, but as we can see by James and in the games, that really isn't the case. So what is the case? First off, Mega Evolution. Using crystallized aura or the life energy inside of the Mega Stones and Keystones, the aura of the deceased Pokemon can allow the wearer to have their aura surge to maximize their abilities and focus. For most people, this is how it is achieved, and it is certainly the easiest way. However, we see Rayquaza Mega Evolve by itself in Super Mystery Dungeon and in the Mega Evolution Specials. In Auras, it's said to be by a wish, but what else do you have to wish for after killing Deoxys in terms of story? Nothing Rayquaza would care about, yet he can still Mega Evolve. How is this possible? Well, I'd wager it with the surging of Aura, considering it's still considered Mega Evolution and has the Flame Helix to prove it. A duo of Trainer and Pokemon isn't a requirement for Mega Evolution, however, Solo isn't very easy. Just like how scratching your own back is difficult, this would require a deep understanding of your own mind and body to surge your life aura in such a way. Not to mention, you'd have to be born with the ability to manipulate aura in the first place. Failure to do this would result in a primal reversion rather than a mega evolution. In primal reversion, rather than gain focus and harmony with your aura to further your abilities, you lose complete control. Groudon and Kyogre experienced this, going mad so they could regain their aura and destroy one another to the point they lost coherent thought. They aren't the only ones either. Enter Primal Dialga. Through Darkrai slowly undoing Dialga's grasp on temporal reality and sabotage of his pocket dimension, the Hidden Land, Dialga lost control of both himself and time, leading to a Primal Reversion. Left unchecked, a legendary's primal reversion can desecrate the entire planet. Now comes Bond Phenomena. We have Ash and Greninja. Ash, as we know from various episodes in Gen 4 and the Lucario movie, is an aura user. While untrained, he has tapped into this ability or simply sensed aura from time to time. Greninja, when a Froakie, searched to hone its abilities and learned it needed a trainer. However, he wanted to choose a trainer, not the other way around. He was searching for someone who could help him unlock his potential. He was looking for another aura user. Ash is one and a good trainer, meeting Greninja's requirements. How do I know Greninja is an aura guardian? He can sense the aura of Zygarde's warped energies. He can sense it even better than Squishy or Z2 themselves which is why he, they asked him to help recover the land. They could have asked Javeltal, but Greninja was closer and Squishy trusted him at that point. During Mega Evolution, the aura of the stones flow through each other and the users. However, in Bond Phenomena, the aura has to flow through the users without external aid. Ash and Greninja sync perfectly with another because their aura is flowing between one another, allowing Ash to help Greninja attain greater heights, and because it is purely their own aura, Greninja receives part of Ash's aura, which manifests itself in Ash Greninja. When one is knocked out, all the life energy Ash transmits to Greninja isn't flowing back to him anymore, leading him to total exhaustion and vice versa. A difficult link to maintain, which is why it can only be used in short bursts. To recap, natural mega evolution is possible without external aid, however is very difficult, which is why using keystones from deceased human and pokemons is the most common way to mega evolve. Bond phenomenon is an easier way to have natural mega evolution, however it happens when two aura users surge aura through one another to maintain balance as a group. However, loss of balance will result in severe exhaustion rather than a primal reversion, where a singular entity tries to surge their aura and fails to maintain balance between mind-body and aura exertion, becoming maddened as a result. Thanks for watching the video, and let me know who you'd like to see most use the Bond phenomena in the Pokemon universe next. Sub and bye!